gonna go do something I'm supposed to do like once a year or once every two years. Whoa. In my previous job, I could hardly get time off to uh, write my exam for my bachelor's degree, let alone getting time off to go do an eye exam. I'm not actually doing the eye exam today. I did that like two weeks ago. Today I'm just here to pick up my glasses. Hi. Good luck yourself. <laughs> wow, this looks so, everything looks so, like, crispy. This is amazing, this is, wow, everything looks so real. It just feels like I've got a 4K upgrade. Man, this is amazing. Wow. Wow. Okay, so. I had these glasses for 8 years and these glasses for 4 years. This is my new glasses. These glasses are stronger than these glasses and these glasses are weaker than these glasses. So that means my eyes have been improving. Just by a little bit, my eyes have been improving over time. I used to always have to swap between other glasses, between my normal glasses and my sunglasses, but now I've got these transitions, so it'll be like sunglasses outside and it'll be like these glasses inside. Man, it just looks so... Okay, so saying my eyes have been improving, like just for a little bit over time, sounds quite weird, but for the type of condition I have, it's supposedly quite normal. But let me explain. I was born with something what they call strabismus. Basically, that's a big word for cross-eyed, or eyes not lining up. This is the very first picture of me. This is what my eyes looked like when I was a baby. You can see it's not that obvious, but once I get older, you can see it starts getting worse. You can see this one is slightly off from that one. Basically how I understand it, there's only two ways of treating strabismus. One is either by operation or two, using glasses to pull it straight. When I was only 18 months old, my parents sent me for operation with some kind of eye specialist. Basically this guy messed up. Before the operation, my eyes went like this. After the operation, my eyes went like this. Here you can see it's way more obvious. Same over here. Look at the eye on the left, it's way more off from this one. Also over here. Then they took me for a second operation with some kind of professor. He could fix it, but he couldn't fix it all the way. So they used glasses to force the eye to look towards the center. This is me on my second birthday, wearing my first pair of glasses. This is what I look like with one of my first pairs of glasses. Right now, I basically can't see anything through this, but it looks so dorky and when I was a kid, I always used to get teased that I look like Harry Potter and that sort of thing always stick to me mentally and gave me a lack of confidence. I think this is my second pair of glasses. Eventually they got cooler and a little thinner and then they started looking like this. Just look at the thickness of that lens. That's how bad my eyes are. So eventually I started wearing contact lenses, but it's so very uncomfortable because it always makes my eye feel too dry. And then I got a job in construction where I had to work outside all the time. So that's why I had to get the sunglasses and 
The prescription for the sunglasses were newer, so I could actually see better with the sunglasses than my other glasses. So that's why it was nicer wearing the sunglasses. So the reason I like to vlog with my sunglasses is that my eyes don't match up. I can only see with one eye at a time. I'm looking at the lens with this eye. I'm gonna swap to the right eye now. See that? Now I'm gonna swap back. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Anyway, it's not that bad if I have been wearing my glasses for a while because what the lenses do, they pull the muscle of the eye towards the center so it looks a little bit more like it's supposed to. But if I haven't been wearing my glasses for a while, for example, when I go surfing, you can clearly see the one eye starts drifting. Also, the sunglasses make it so much easier to vlog with because my camera has this LCD that's on the side here to make it easier to see how I'm framing the shot. So without the sunglasses, I keep looking over here and I forget that I need to look at the lens. So with the sunglasses, I can still look at the LCD over here and it doesn't look like I'm not looking into the lens. So for now, I'm, I'm gonna try to vlog with these glasses, but if I forget to look into the lens and I look into the LCD, sorry about that, but I'm gonna try. So stabismus have been linked with learning disabilities. So when I was about nine, 10 years old, I had to go to a special school for kids with disability. I actually only recently read this, but it's actually quite common for kids with strabismus to swap around their letters like B's and D's and look at this. This is a painting I did when I was seven years old. Look at the way I ripped my seven. Someone eventually told me how how I should fix it. But my seven, I totally messed up. I used to do the same thing with my B's and my D's. I couldn't remember which is B or D or which is left or right. Actually, even before that, I had to go to like sessions that they call brain gym or eye gym or something like that, where I had to follow like an object to train the little, tiny little muscles in your eyes. Because that's actually the cause of strabismus is that the, the muscles aren't strong enough to move the eye. Okay, so I've got this massive mess that I need to clean up now. So I guess I'm gonna end this video here. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. And then I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.